Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. Mantham Games. I am the AMDM Lee. And we're doing a challenge today, as usual. We're always doing challenges. I've got challenges out the wazoo. Uh, so, before I do that, though, I want to make a couple of real quick announcements. I mentioned uh, some stuff, game mastering tools, accessories. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not what it is. But there's uh, one of the guys, I've talked about him before in some videos last month. And I posted up his stuff, J.E. Shields. He's an artist. Uh, he's got a thing going on on Kickstarter right now. Or getting ready to start on Kickstarter. I'm, I, uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I haven't gone completely in there and looked at it. It just pops up on my Facebook feed. But uh, I'm going to post a link to it. So go check his stuff out. If you are a gamer, if you do sci-fi, fantasy, whatever you do, he does RPG stock art. So he's licensed his artwork out so you can use it for your RPGs, for your characters. He does custom requests. Uh, if you get part of his Patreon, he does some stuff on there too, which... You know, if you if you're paid on this Patreon, you just I think I don't know if it's changed, but you used to be able to just go, bloop, bloop, bloop. yeah, I would like this, and then if you were one of the certain levels, one of your one of the stock art pieces would be a would be from your suggestion. I think I've got two of them in there. Uh, so let's get into this challenge. We're on day three of the 30 days of game mastering challenge. And we're still in part one, which is preparation. How do we prep for a game? And on day three, the question is, how do you find players? Well, I've been fairly lucky. A, my last group I found at work, uh, I can talk to one of them, the Alora DM. Uh, and after talking, we found out a couple of interests, and we found out D&D, &D, and I said, let's do a game. So I've been fairly lucky there. This current group, I, I found at work. Uh, one of the guys that the game's with us is uh, talking to him and giving him an idea of what I was going to do in my, to, to down here, and found out he plays Dungeons & Dragons. Started a group. And, of course, I have my kids and my wife would, who play. So I've been fairly lucky. Now, if I didn't have a group at all and I was itching to play Dungeons & Dragons, today is the world of technology. You can get a game started on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, check out your local... There's bound to be a local group on there for gaming. If there's not, create one. Go to your library. Post up flyers there. I, I, I ran a... In Louisiana, I ran a monthly gaming group at, or gaming get together at the library. The Ritter Tabletop Gamers. Uh, there are things like if you've got internet access, you have which obviously you do at some form. You have Roll Twenty, you have Fantasy Grounds, you have probably two or three more of them. Uh, Discord. You can find a group. Roll20 and Fantasy Grounds are online play. You can find a group on there fairly quickly, fairly easy. You can put up a little tag flyer. Hey, I'm going to play a game. Do you want in? Boom. Now, if you're in the middle of nowhere, you have no internet connection, I can't help you. If you if you were the last person on standing in the entire town in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, I can't help you. But how do you find players? Put an ad in the paper. Go to Craigslist. No, don't, don't. Craigslist is probably a bad idea. But if you have internet access and, you, and you're saying you can't find players or a game, you're not try. You're not looking. I could go right now, get online, and go to any of these gaming sites and within 20 minutes have a game set up 
and, and probably be playing within 20 minutes. That's how easy it is now to find a game. You just have to... Now, here's where it gets difficult. You have to put yourself out there. You have to get out of your shell and put yourself out there. If you want to run a game, it's a lot easier to find players if, you want to, if, you, if you're willing to run than it is if you're just wanting to play. If you're willing to run a game, the players will find you. When the GM is ready, the players will come. Words of wisdom. So, you'll be able to find players. All you got to do is look. Talk to people. Hey, you know, the next time somebody goes, hey, what are you doing this weekend? You can go, oh, I'm uh, reading up the rules on Dungeons and Dragons. I'm working on some Dungeons and Dragons stuff. That's all you got to say. And they're going to question that. They're either going to go, what? Or they're going to go, that nerd stuff? You can go, what do you mean that nerd stuff? And you, that you've broken the ice. You've now got them engaged in a conversation. They will be intrigued. Tell them, what are you doing? Oh, I'm planning on, a, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to kill a dragon. Better yet, oh, I'm planning a bank heist. What? Well, that's the, the game I'm trying to come up with is I'm, I'm planning out a bank heist. Game? What kind of game is it? Boom. You can find players. All you have to do is open yourself up. But definitely, if you got a local game store, if you got a game store or a comic book shop within 25 miles of you, you can find you can find gamers. Check your library. Check the internet. Stay away from Craigslist. Go to Roll Twenty. Go to Fantasy Grounds. Blog list, Reddit, Facebook. You can find gamers. That's how I find players. And I know it's all been said before, but you can do it. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Right there. The gods have shined upon you. Yes, and the Lord said, let the dice roll. And the dice rolled. And it was a natural 20. Alright. So. That's all I got for now guys. If you like these videos. Please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them. Please click on the share button. Every like is an inspiration. Every share is an advantage. Every subscription is an experience point. Help me reach 300 experience points. So I can get to second level. I would love to level up. And as always, remember, every time you share this video or any of my other videos, I, the AMDM, do hereby do, do, dutifully, I do hereby grant you 10 experience points as long as you share. My wife never watches the end of this. She's in my game. My kids never watch to the end of this. They're in my game. Most of my friends who watch these videos don't watch to the end. I never know. 10 experience points. It's all yours. All you got to do is share the videos. Thanks, guys. That's all I got. I'll see you in the next game. Bye.